So if you have a look at my laptop nice and closely, you can see that all my cue points are being set automatically and I'm not even touching my laptop. So the other day I decided I wanted to sort out my USBs properly from scratch. So I moved all my music from Serato to Rekordbox. I used to use Record Buddy, but it no longer works. After I reorganized my playlist, I noticed that none of my cue points were set. I then jumped onto Twitter to ask DJs how they set their cue points. And a lot of people said the same thing. So then it got me thinking, if DJs already know how they want to set their cue points and they do the exact same thing every single time, surely there's a way to automate this. And I also thought there is no way I'm going through 8,000 of my tracks and manually set and cue points. So I'd done what any good person would do. I went to Google. I came across this guy called Bide UK on GitHub. GitHub is just a place where coders can upload their code, they can store it, other people can use it, etc. So his code explanation says, an Apple script to automate adding hot queue and memory queue markers in Pioneer's Rekordbox DJ software. The tool adds queue memory points in the following arrangement by automating default keyboard shortcuts so you dread using Rekordbox less. So he's got a beginner script that sets three queue points and an advanced script that sets eight queue points. We're just gonna use the beginner one for now. I downloaded his code, analyzed it and ran it. And to my actual surprise, it worked. But if you look back at his description, he has a few things that he said the script won't do and these two things stood out to me. It won't work on non-analyzed tracks and it won't work if the track doesn't load on the first beat on the beat grid. Also, he says this script doesn't make you a good DJ as well. Anyways, I decided to fix these two problems. The first problem was the script won't work on tracks that weren't analyzed properly. So all I had to do was analyze my 8,000 tracks. Then the next problem was the script won't work if the tracks don't load on the first beat on the beat grid. Now, if you look at record box when you load a track, it starts way before the first beat. So the script would load the track, set a cue point here, then jump four bars to set the next cues, but they would all be in the wrong place. So I obviously had to add some lines in the script to fix this. So in the script, I need to find a way so when you load the track, it automatically goes to the first beat of the track, so then the cue points will set in the correct place. Luckily in Rekordbox, there's an option when analyzing to set a memory cue marker at the first beat of a track when analyzing. So I checked this setting, but this meant I had to reanalyze my library again. But now if you look on the screen right now, you can see all these red markers which have been marked on the first beat of the track. So now in the script, after I've loaded the track, I can tell it to jump to the first memory queue. So I needed to find the keyboard shortcut to jump to the first memory queue. So I went into preferences, player one, looked for memory queue one, which is A on the keyboard. Then I went to Apple scripts and looked for the key codes. So if you look at the key codes on the screen, A on the keyboard is key code zero. So I add that to my script before I set the first queue point. So now when the track loads, it will press A and then jump to the first memory queue. It's pretty smart, right? So in his script, he sets a cue point every 16 bars. But me as an R&B open format DJ, I usually set my cue points every four bars. So what I'll do is set a cue point at the start of the track. If it's an intro version, it will be in the middle of the intro and then at the end of the eighth bar, which is usually when the vocals come in. And if you have a look at all the Twitter comments, a lot of other DJs do the exact same thing. So for this script, we're gonna set cue points in the following places. At the start of the track, in the middle of the intro, and then right as the vocals come in. Now for a lot of you watching, you're gonna have two types of tracks in your music library. You're gonna have an original version of a track, but you're also gonna have the intro version of the track. This script is gonna work perfectly for intro versions because the intro is usually eight bars long. So if we set a cue point at the start, the end of the fourth bar and the end of the eighth bar, it's gonna have all your cue points set. But for the original tracks, they're usually just four bar intros. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a cue point at the start of the track, right when the vocals start, but then you'll have an extra cue point as well. But the whole point of this script was to automate setting cue points. So the cue points are actually gonna be there, but just for the original version of the track you're going to have one extra cue point which you can delete later so all i need to do now is change these numbers from 16 bars to four bars this part of the script just means it's going to press key code one two four which is the keyboard shortcut for jumping one bar and this is going to repeat four times now when we run the script you can see it sets three cue points one at the beginning one at the end of the fourth bar and one at the end of the eighth bar so if you have a look at my laptop nice and closely you can see that all my cue points are being set automatically and i'm not even touching my laptop Now obviously this isn't perfect, but all my cue points are now set and I didn't have to do them manually. I'd love to improve this code to make it a little bit more useful for DJs. So if you have any ideas or anything that you want me to add to this script, let me know in the comments down below, then I can make a part two to this video. Also, if you like me doing these kind of coding and DJ related videos, let me know in the comments down below if you want any more of these. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here where I go through how I organize all my music. I'll catch you in the next video.